I'm so tapped up, and today I'm going to show you how to get started in Abyssrium here. I've got a big old guide that you might have already seen on uh, on my website, and it kind of goes more in depth and stuff, but it uh, doesn't really have a little show you how to do how to start the game. So if you've never played a clicker before, um, this is a pretty decent one to get started with. Parky. My cat is interrupting me as always. Um, the base of a clicker game is clicking, or tapping in this case. I'm recording from my PC, so I am in fact clicking, but uh, that doesn't matter. You can check your collected vitality. Um, the way this game works is that you eventually get so much vitality that, uh, you know, displaying the numbers gets crazy. So it uses num uh, letters instead of, uh, you know, standard numbers. Parker, please. Um, so once you uh, tap enough, you can upgrade your little uh, stone here. And the game has this tutorial here. It's uh, It teaches it pretty decently the basics of the game. And uh, unfortunately, this, this starts kind of a little slow. The, Abyssrium and Clickers in general, very slow games. You should... Uh, you should be aware of that when uh, starting. It's meant to be a relaxing thing that you open up, uh, play for five minutes. It's, it's very much a phone game, for better or worse. Um, so we just unlocked our first coral, which... Parker, please. Um, coral generates vitality automatically. As you can see, it's generating 100, which is currently quite a lot because our coral, our coralite or stone here, doesn't generate that much. And eventually, we can buy a fish, which we should be able to do in just a second here. Let's buy a Percula clownfish. When you buy a fish, it doubles all the vitality you earn. Uh, cost for fish keeps going up. And uh, pretty much the goal of this game is just to make a really nice aquarium with lots of little fishies here. It's a little choppy because I have to run this through an emulator to record it right, but uh... Oh! Hello, attendance check thinger dinger. So the game has, like a lot of mobile games, it has an attendance, you know, motivator. Just log in once a day and you'll get a bunch of gems, which are, you know, the premium currency. And um... Eventually you'll unlock fish. You can get a sea slug, giant isopod, um, ore fish, coelacanth, and uh, giant squid. So those are pretty cool. The candy cane you see is part of the current uh, Christmas event. I'm not gonna get into that. I already have a video on the Christmas event, actually. So at the very first, at the very beginning, these coral matter a lot, and you'll want to spend a lot of stuff upgrading the coral. And uh, when can we get a new fish? Ah, 30. Yeah, the, the price for the fish tends to go up maybe, you know, it tends to accelerate pretty fast at the very beginning, then it kind of smooths out. The game has this curve where sometimes upgrading your stone will be really expensive and you'll kind of want to spend your vitality elsewhere. Um, and so here's the thing where every 25 levels we get for our stone or for our coral, the production doubles. So now we get not only level 25, but we get double you know, level 25's vitality. So you pretty much want to upgrade your vitality in sets of 25, or you want to upgrade your stone and coral, rather. Uh, th this early on, it doesn't really matter too much. You just kind of want to click around. And a really nice thing about clickers, um, or idle games, I tend to prefer to call them, uh, because the amount of currency is constantly going up, uh, mistakes don't matter too much. And the way that works is, say I mess up here and I waste, like, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and waste 10A vitality. Well, say I get back tomorrow and I have like C vitality and just the, the amount of stuff that I wasted just becomes completely inconsequential pretty quickly. Um, there's, there's, there's a right way to play for sure, but if you mess up, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, I actually don't find, the, the core light talks a little bit. The uh, localization isn't very good. Um, and he gives you some hints. I'm going to turn it off for now. The, um, you can turn off the blabbing with the script. That's what that is. You can also turn off notifications. It's called notice because like I said, not the best localization. Um, I guess we have a welcome gift. That's nice. I actually haven't played this 
like as a new file in a very long time. So the game does this onboarding thing, and it tells you to use magic. Um, you know, it wants you to use the premium currency to double your vitality, and um, it's really not worth it for the most part. Like this sounds really good. You use 800 gems, and you get 93B vitality. The thing is, if I just play this for like five minutes, I'll have you know 93B vitality, easy. Like it, it might sound a little bit appealing, but what you really want your gems for is uh, later on we will unlock these artifacts. What you really want to spend your gems on is first. Um, well, currently we can't use them, but uh, trust me, level 500 sounds intimidating. Uh, you'll get there a lot faster than you think. I, uh, in about a week, you should be able to wreak Z Vitality if you play the game pretty, pretty regularly. Um, so, like we see, we are we started with Z, you know, no letter. We're already to A, which is you know a thousand times better than we were doing when we started. Uh, by the end of this video, I'm sure we'll be another thousand or more. You know, you increase by orders of magnitude. It's. Uh, it's just how these games kind of go. It can be a little confusing at first, but um, it's simpler than it seems. So yeah, what you really just want to do is go for those level 25 jumps. Um, the game's going to keep nagging about the spirit of life. I, I guess I'll just do it just to complete the tutorial. Um, so this is the one magic thing in this whole magic tab that is actually kind of decent because what it does is when we click on the candy for the seasonal events, we get double the candy too. But um, you really want to save your gems to upgrade these skills. That's what I was getting to earlier. Um, I would say first things first, you want to upgrade the Song of the Moon as much as you can with the uh, gems. Then you want delicious food. Then you want this glowing conch. Um, I would say after that, probably Mystic Shell. And then the Volcanic Eruption and Remains of a Nautilus. Doesn't really matter. Um, as you're going through and playing normally, um, since you'll unlock these levels pretty slow like you'll have some gems early on possibly um it's okay to buy just one level of everything uh it's not a huge deal and it kind of adds some visual flair to your uh, tank so it's not a big deal so now we can unlock fresh seaweed first things first let's get our level 25 bonus you get a bonus effect yeah like i said before it doubles it's the same way with the core light the uh, the stone menu here so now we have fresh seaweed, which is already generating double what our level 25 fragile staghorn. And that's pretty much how things go. Um, as we continue along, you know, you'll unlock more and more of these uh, corals. And as the way this game works, the very early ones fairly rapidly become irrelevant in terms of gaining vitality. And. Um, La you'll you'll want to upgrade the la the latest one you have first. So let's take a quick look at the shop. Um, I, this isn't a game where you have to pay to win, um, but there is a thing. I guess we haven't unlocked it yet. Um, there are certain fish you can only pay to get. If you're starting this game and you think you're going to collect all the fish, I really hate to tell you you, you can't collect all the fish. Um, there's already fish in the, um, yeah, the, there's hidden fish in this game, and, like, certain special requirements unlock them, and you can go in here, um, to, you know, see stuff, and, uh, so, actually we can unlock this one right here, or no, not that one, uh, snowflake clownfish. To unlock the snowflake clownfish, we need to take a picture. So yeah, the photo tool is actually pretty cool. That's a really fun part of this game. If you like to take pictures, we don't have much to see yet, but uh, you can take a picture. Uh, a really cool feature that is not that you might not expect is once you've taken the photo, it's actually a freeze frame, and you can move around, and you can zoom in. I, I'm using my mouse, so I can't do the zoom in gesture, but you can zoom in. Um, you can select something else to focus on. Um, and yeah, you can. I think that's just a depth of field effect, that effect there. You can share it to your Twitter and stuff. Um, a trick is that the game will give you more vitality if you uh, if you share an image because you know you want they want you know to promote the game and stuff. A trick is that you can press the share button, go to Twitter, and then just back out, and you'll get the bonus anyway. I I prefer that to you know spamming my friends personally. 
Um, so we took three pictures of a clownfish, and that unlocks our first hidden fish. So now, once we get enough vitality, which we already have, we can buy a blue, blue clownfish. And uh, like I said, I've got a big old guide that has every requirement for the hidden fish. I would recommend just looking at that. I It'd take too long to explain all the things. All right, back to what I was saying. So if you want to collect all the fish, I got bad news. There are already time limited fish that have expired. So it's basically impossible to get all of the fish. And even if it weren't, um, there have been two fish that are purchase only that cost $100. Um, I, I really don't approve of that sort of business model, but trust me, you can enjoy this game without paying a cent. I, that's what I've done. So these achievements give you some rewards, like more gems. Um, most importantly, part of your progress, like once we get to level 200 for the core light, our vitality production per tap goes up 300%. Um, I think that used to be 100 or 10,000%. Um, yeah, also if you sign into Google Play, um, which I haven't done because I'm on, uh, I'm just, you know, doing this to show you how this works, uh, on my, you know, on an alternate account, I, you can do these quests, uh, that, uh, give you more gems. Gems you get slowly, but you're never really gated, you're never, like, required to get gems. Also, if you... You know, don't want to click too many times. You can use this level up times 10. I'm so glad they added that feature. It's very nice. So, eventually, we'll level up enough to get these skills. Level 100. We should be able to get to that um, before I end this, shouldn't we? There we go. So, your skills are your most important asset, I would say, in this game. Look at that. We get... How many taps do we get? 10 times per second for 5 minutes. And I don't, have, I don't have to lift a finger, literally. And um, that's pretty much how you want to play this game. At least that's how I play this game. Uh, I don't like to mash, you know, I don't like to give myself arthritis too much. So I just let my skills take their pace. And what you can do is log in every 15 minutes to every 2 hours, cast your skills, take a look at your fish, buy some upgrades. Um, maybe hunt a hidden fish. Uh, try to fulfill some of these requirements. It's like we need five clownfish to get the next major fish. So we'll just buy another blue one, because blue is a nice color. And uh, you just play it a few minutes at a time and relax. You'll probably... It, it, it's a game I think you'll either really like or just not get at all within the first... You know, within the first day or like the first 20 minute session, you'll either be obsessed and like mashing and like, oh, I, I need to get the blue banded goby. And you'll be like really excited or, you know, clickers aren't for everybody, so, but you never know if it's for you until you try. I've been pretty, I was pretty skeptical before I tried this, but uh, I really enjoy it. I do, like I was saying, <coughs> excuse me, I, uh, there's some of the monetization aspects that I don't like. Like the, this, oh, I think they've reduced the price on that. Wait, no, this is the Snowflake Whale that's 30 bucks. Um, <coughs> I'm, I'm not a fan of that. But, like I said, it's impossible to get all the fish anyway, so don't worry about not getting the paid fish. And even if you did want to get all of the paid fish, I think you would have to pay about $300 total. Um, you just can't get all the fish, and... In my, in my mind, those paid fish don't exist, and I just focus on the fish that I can get playing normally um, for whenever I started playing the game. So, like, there's a legendary Mola Mola from the uh, Survive Mola Mola game, which is another fun idle game. Uh, unfortunately, that promotion ended, so you can't get it now if you haven't played, if you didn't already get it. So, that sucks, and I guess it's just kind of a normal aspect of mobile games that, you know, they do those dumb time-limited promotions, and, you know, licensing and all that. Uh, we haven't upgraded our coral in a while. Oh! So, early on, things get kind of busy with, you know, oh, which which thing do I do? Uh, like I said, don't worry, worry about it too much, because, like, oh, I just spent 25B vitality, like... But wait, I'm getting 25B vitality in about, like, 5 seconds, so that's not really a big deal. So, just upgrade what you can. Uh, I've got some more advanced strategies in the guide, but for the most part, you just tap a bit. Um, one note is that the game does not generate, 
Um, if you say I cast a skill and I go back to the home menu, the game doesn't generate uh, vitality while I'm away. It only generates this timed vitality. And you can only accrue up to two hours of timed vitality. That's why checking the game every two hours is, uh, is a pretty de decent strategy. Maybe not the exact fastest, but... Um, you pretty much just want to get in here and cast your skills as often as you can. That's that's really the the most critical part. Yeah, early on, things are pretty cheap, and I mean, the way the game is designed, you can pretty much always upgrade something or other. There is a brick wall that you hit around O vitality, which is um, it's pretty rough. But then after that, everything is fine again. It, it gets, you know, it has. A little uneven progression curve, but that kind of makes it fun, right? You um, you get that feeling of oh, this is really tough, and then you get that relief once you get over the plateau, and you're like, oh, that's much better. And uh, we can buy another fish. Generally, if you can buy a fish, you should buy a fish because you know it doubles everything. Whereas upgrading coral, oh, we upgrade, we unlock some new fish. That's great. And I try to go for the hidden fish that are available as fast as I can, because, like, look, we've got three blue clownfish. I like blue clownfish, but I like some variety. So, I can't buy any new fish yet. But, you know, in just a few seconds we'll be able to buy a little fire goby. So... Oh, my... As you notice, this number is bigger than this number, which means there isn't too much point in tapping. Um, because I get, you know... What's that? Four times as much vitality per second as I do per tap. So just let the game do the work for you. You don't want to overwork your fingers. Some people tell me, you know, they mash a lot and, you know, there's some achievements you get for mashing tapping. But I don't want to, you know, give myself arthritis. So I just, like, see, tap fishes vitality 100 times. Um, tap 5,000 times. Um, a quick way to get these, um... Special moments say cheese achievements are really quick ways to get uh, a few hundred gems early on because you can just basically spam this uh, picture button. Oh, and you can dress up the coral and uh, change the uh, background and stuff. You can't really... it takes a little bit to... Uh, oh, the Santa costume's free for the Christmas event. But um, most of this stuff unlocks at a fairly high level, so you won't worry too much about that until later on. Uh, just. Play the game, relax, enjoy, and um, that's pretty much what you need to start with. I'm not sh even sure what the tutorial is still going on with. We've pretty much, I guess we have some skills we haven't unlocked. But um, yeah, like I was saying, don't, don't, don't buy these. It, your gems should first go to your skills, then you can unlock some cosmetic stuff with gems, and. Um, yeah, you just really don't need to worry too much about the gems. They speed up your progress a little bit, but there's nothing, like, totally dependent on them. And you get a fair enough amount that as long as you don't just deliberately burn your gems, it doesn't really matter. And so sometimes there's seasonal events. I'll, I'll cover this Christmas thing now. So sometimes there's seasonal events and you can get these candies by tapping on the fish. And um, this one is pretty expensive. As you can see... Uh, I still can't get even one snowflake angelfish. I'm like halfway there. But what you really need to participate in that event is this Song of the Moon, because that quintuples the amount of candy you get. So, like I said, don't, don't worry too much about it. This is not a game to worry in. This is a game to open up, poke around, see some cool fish, relax for a few minutes, put away your phone, and, you know, go back to whatever you're doing. And uh, it works really well like that. So, what's our next big... Uh, it's still 16 away, so... Let's just upgrade our sea fan if we can. Eh, not quite. Yeah, as, see, like I said earlier, I was... We started out with, you know, no letter, then we went to A in about 5 minutes. And it's been about 15 minutes, we're, we're already at C. Um, now we're at C. So, yeah, th that, that number goes up all the time. And so that's why it uses letters instead of numbers, because, like, we're already in the billions, I believe. And, um, yeah, a thousand, A is a thousand, B is a million, C is a billion, 
Yeah, it would get too much. Like, there aren't words, I don't think, for numbers. Like, I'm wanting BR vitality in my main game. I don't think there's a word for how many zeros that is. It, it's, trust me, it's a lot of zeros. Uh, also, you can do a recharge skill. I, I've been avoiding the ad stuff. So you can play this game without seeing an ad ever, but every 15 minutes you can recharge all of your skills by watching an ad. And, you know, if you want to play as fast as you can, it, it is pretty important to watch those ads. But if you want to be fussy, you want to play the game a little slower, you don't want to see ads, it's totally possible. Um, I don't even have, like, there's, there's, at my current point, there's really no reason to watch an ad. Um, I would say wait until you have the Song of the Moon. But I mean, early on, the, the gains do feel, still feel pretty significant. So, I mean, you know, don't feel afraid to, you know, recharge, even if it's just volcanic eruption. I'm just, the game does eventually change so that as long as Song of the Moon isn't on, it, it feels pointless. Because, I mean, Song of the Moon is just that good. That's how good it is. But yeah. Also, this Christmas event thing, people keep re thinking this is like, oh, this means there's only 17 hours left. Don't. It's just a really bad counter. What it really means is there's 13 days. Like, people always don't notice this. Like, people read this and they think Christmas event, it's a 13 day long event and it's only got 17 hours left, which is a fairly reasonable way to read that, but that's not what it means. The, the developer doesn't have the best localization team. They, uh, I forget if they're... I I believe they're Japanese, and um, localization isn't the best. Um, all right, we've been neglecting our core light. See, we're already level 216. Like I said, the the level 500 sounds really intimidating. It's really not. Oh, and that's the mystery chest. So, <coughs> the uh, the chest you can open by watching an ad. It doesn't really. Oh, it, it does kind of mention that you're going to see an ad. Um, that can either have 30 gems, which is the only good reward. It can have a moderate amount of vitality, which isn't terrible. Um, and it can have an auto-tap spell, which is pretty bad, honestly. Uh, you only really want to open that for gems. You can also watch an ad every 30 minutes here for free gems. Um, and you're, if you're adverse to ads, I would really say the recharge skill one is the only one that's really, you know, important. And it's still not required. Oh, we have some more achievements. Every time you see that... See, now we just got 300% more uh, vitality per tap. So, whenever you see a little exclamation on that uh, trophy at the top there, go to it, because that's either free gems or major increase in vitality. So, nothing too exciting that we can upgrade yet. Um, oh, there's also photo contests. <laughs> and you can get... Wow, 10,000? Really? Huh. Um, yeah, people share their photos, and <laughs> some people just like to spam a ton of the same fish, some people, you know, little nice artsy composition, um, sometimes they're just funny pictures, um, if you like to take photos and share them, you know, why not? I think you have to use Instagram in order to take part of that, which is why I haven't really bothered. But, uh, yeah, that is Abyssrium. That's pretty much what you need to know to get started. Um, like I've been plugging, um, uh, like, every, like, my guide pretty much, you know, I've been told that, you know, people look at it every time there's a new update, so I always try to keep it up to date. I do always keep it up to date. Like, when the Christmas event came in, um, we had all of the fish down within 24 hours most of them within like five hours i didn't even have the update yet but people told me what they found and i got it in so you know uh even if i don't have the update i usually have the information for you already um and uh making that guide's been been really fun but uh yeah this is a mystery that's how you get started um oh right i forgot to mention so you can take a picture Sometimes it'll say, like, hey, take a picture of this fish. And you do, and you get some vitality. Uh, late game, it's not really very important, but early on, it can feel pretty big. So just do it until it doesn't feel worth it. It's not something that you're totally required to do, but, uh, you know, it's something to do. It keeps you busy. And uh, just as a spoiler, eventually your aquarium, or the rock here grows a bit bigger and we see a lot more coral and things get a lot prettier. Uh, I have some videos of my main tank. You can probably find them pretty easy on YouTube. Um, so 
it starts off pretty simple like all idle games do, and eventually you, you get more and more stuff and things look really nice. And if you have any questions, uh, definitely check out that guide like I said. Um, leave a comment either on this video or on the guide, and uh, I can pretty much always help. Uh, if you have a bug, they do have, uh, they've, you can uh, send a report on Twitter or uh, email them from there. Uh, I. If there's a common bug, I usually try to list a solution or workaround if there is one. But sometimes, I mean, I will admit this game kind of buggy, and I, there's not always a solution other than ask the developer to you know fix it. Um, but uh, for the most part, I really haven't had too many bugs. Usually, there's like one fish that doesn't unlock right that people have. Uh, a lot of people have trouble with the my my, um, but like. There's no one fish that's totally required other than, oops, no, I don't want the mystery chest. Uh, to get the dugong, you need 78 types of fish, which used to be every fish in the game. It isn't anymore. Um, so there's really, if there's one fish that you can't get, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm so tap tap, but I'm really bad at wrapping up videos. Dang, that's Abyssrium, and. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.